listening to Chi Chi's Radio Show. Hello, everyone. It's been a week since our friends have arrived in the Mechanism Tribe, and a lot has happened. Let's check in on Kane and see where his head is at. Hello, everyone. I'm heading to that little cafe where I met my new friends. I haven't had many opportunities to hang with them. It's mostly had to be at night when JJ is asleep. And this morning, I'm not going there to meet them. I'm just going to take a break to clear my head. Oh, hey, Renee is here. Why does she look so upset? Hey, Renee. Kane, what are you doing here? I'm just coming to clear my head. Is everything okay? No. Those squid kids stole Pixel's switchboard while we were sleeping. Without it, we've got no chance at the competition. I came here to process it, everything before Pixel wakes up and I have to tell him it's over. It's not over yet. My new friends can all track down the guys who stole the switchboard and get it back. I mean, I don't want to brag, but I'm one heck of a tiny detective. That would help me so much. Thank you. Of course. I know where the hideout is. Sour Asa and I hung out there once. I couldn't stand that place. Awesome. Lead the way. So, how long have you and Pixel been down here? Hmm. How long has it been? Probably like 30 years now. Me and Pixel were built to provide entertainment at this place called Fries and Crimes. We did that until 1991 when they found some dead critics in the basement and shut the place down. Nearly lives up to the name Fries and Crimes. <laughs> Fries and Crimes? We were the ones who exposed the bodies to the police. Wait, really? Yeah, I was in a gang where we had exposed shady businesses through some questionable methods. Damn. Did they stay shut down? Dirty businesses like that always find a way to come back and get just as much praise with their crimes getting completely ignored. Yeah, they stayed shut down. But Gigi and I started our own cafe in that building. Ooh, that's cool. If me and Pixel had stuck around the place, we might have ended up performing for you. But the manager blamed us for the murders, so we had to get out of there. From there, we hid in the sewers and joined the Mechanism tribe. Wait. Is that why you guys were broken down in the outback? You had a crime happen and the blame got passed to you? Uh, sorta. Damn. If it was because of bodies in the basement, then that place is cursed. No, no. It got shut down because of... Uh... A flame demon. Yeah, a flame demon came in and killed this man while wielding an axe. Flame Demon. That's a cool song name. I'm gonna write that down. She saved my life from that guy. But at the same time, it still feels like she's haunting me. Uh huh, uh huh. Wait, are you writing a song from this story? What can I say? The best ideas come from personal experiences. Like Nullify. Those lyrics make sense now. Yeah. Man, it feels good to be able to explain that to someone. We can't reveal ourselves to humans because they still think we caused his murders. We have to be vague and anonymous. Well, like you said, dirty businesses always find a way to come back and get praise. You guys might be able to reveal yourselves and be okay. I don't know. Maybe. It would be nice to perform on a real stage again. Maybe even with an aria. <laughs> That'll never happen. Thanks for letting me vent to you about this. No worries. Ooh. There's the hideout, in the distance over there. Is that building hanging from vines? Yep, and there used to be more of them. Come on, there's nothing to be scared of. If the five of them get hang up up there fine, then I'm sure we'll be fine. At this point, we're not going to get the blood back before the others wake up. I hope they'll be fine. Morning, Chi Chi. Are you alright? Yeah. I just had a very surreal nightmare about when Nightmare Chi-Chi attacked on my birthday. Nightmare Chi-Chi? Oh yeah, this is a freaky version of me. It's a long story. Where's Kane and Renee? I'm not sure. They might just be on a morning walk or something. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be back soon. No need to panic. 
Where's my switchboard? It's not here. Those squid kids must have stolen it to mess us up. Or worse, Renee stabbed me in the back. <sighs> You're probably overreacting. Just calm down, mate. Just tapping your shoulder? Ooh, it's a thing. I do it to calm down. I had to find a way of dealing with my panic attacks while Renee wasn't here. You also have panic attacks? Well, I used to. It was really bad when me and Renee were hiding from the humans. It went away for years after we found a home here, but they started back up a few months ago. I would lay awake at night, worried that the world might forget about us and move on. I wouldn't have a purpose if not to entertain. Renee would help me in those moments, but there would be times she was at Sour Acid's house, so I would tap my shoulders in the same pattern. We did show after show back in the 90s. It helps calm my mind when she's not here, and stop the panic attacks from coming as often. Wow, that's great. I remember you saying you were having panic attacks. Yeah, it's been a recent thing. I need to stop myself from... exploding. And the thought of that happening has led me to be in a constant state of panic. I'm so lucky to have Kane to calm me down. When it gets really bad, he sings a song from a lullaby disc we found the day we met. His singing helps me to relax and stay focused. Nice. What do you do to calm down when Kane's not here? You do have something, right? I don't, but he won't leave me, since he knows how catastrophic things would be if I exploded. I wouldn't count on that. Kane wouldn't leave me. I mean, I say that, but he's been going on and on about finding a backup method and ditching us to hang with his new friends. Honestly, it feels like it's come out of nowhere. Someone down here must be brainwashing him. Yeah. Yeah, because if he really was my friend, he wouldn't leave me knowing that I could kill everyone if the powers took control again. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Chi-Chi, I just remembered. I put a tracker in my switchboard after it got stolen last time. It's in the Tathita tribe. So it has to be those stupid squid kids. Perfect. Hopefully we'll see Kane and Renee on the way there. We'll take the band van. Shotgun, driving. I wasn't going to fight you on that one. Don't worry, Kane. We're coming to save you. Looks like our main cast is split up in two, both ultimately heading to the same destination. How will the different paths and pairings impact our heroes? We'll have to see next time. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you know when the next episode of this show will be uploaded. Thanks for listening!